so this is sapphire buffalo um, it's a soft leaf buffalo grass um, it's not as soft as kukuyu uh, which is my like all-time favorite grass but you know what it is a great trade-off this is sapphire buffalo b12 I just wanted to show you this. This is sapphire buffalo growing in the shade, literally in the shade. Um, there is no sun here during the day. So sapphire buffalo loves um, uh, sun. My last video was, or the last segment was just uh, full sun. And this is unwatered shaded area. So yeah, there's a bit of kukuyu in here, but we'll get onto that next. So you can't get uh, sapphire buffalo. I've tried everywhere. I think it's patented in the US and is licensed. The rights are licensed somewhere in um, in Australia. Um, so what I've done is I've actually pulled out um, the kukuyu in this little area over here. It's a three by two sort of area. And what I'm doing is I'm actually um, cultivating these guys and I got those from from the front yard so what I did was I just dug the beds a little wider and then just um, use those those off cuts you can see some of them are even uh, you can see they're even um, seeding over here you can see the seeds coming off uh, but give this like three to four weeks and you'll see a fully um, established lawn um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do in this area is just keep the kukuyu out and just keep cleaning it up um, You'll see on the edges here of, of the deck you'll start seeing some uh, kukuyu popping up But just to have a have a look like kukuyu is not doing well in summer without a lot of water uh, I'm going to pretty much this is my project for the year just rip it all up um, and then uh, take the established lawn from here and plant it in there and let's start again great hope you found this useful